Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to look at how you can enable uh, Windows's notorious recall feature on any ARM version of Windows. Now, it doesn't really work on x86. It will eventually, but currently it doesn't. But you do not need an MPU. You do not need any of that. Uh, this is actually running on a VM on a Mac because that's the only ARM system that I own. And we can see what the specs are. So you don't need you don't need an NPU, you don't need any of that. What you do need is to install a specific build, which you can get if you don't already have it. Uh, you can get it from, and you need this exact build. You can also get it just by choosing the release preview channel and updating. This is the latest release preview build currently. The newer Canary and Dev builds do not have this feature because they're from a different branch rather than the release version. So we can go to the release pages to actually get started and download the latest version of this. Now after we extract it, and then we just wait a second. Now, after we've downloaded that, the next thing to do is download the workload file that is linked in the GitHub from archive.org. Now this will take quite a while because it's a 2.7 gigabyte file and archive.org does not have the fastest download service in the world. Once that's done, you can extract it into the workload components folder, and then we just run the command. Now when you reboot, uh, you will see some new options. You'll be able to, if you go into your search and you type recall, uh, you'll see this option for recall storage, which you can either enable or disable. If you enable it, now you'll look down at your tray and you'll see a recall option. And now we can find out how bad is recall really. The answer, quite bad. Uh, some of the things that it, it records are pretty incredible. So you can see pretty much everything in your tabs. Uh, it has onboard OCL, which works perfectly fine, I might add, without an NPU. It'd probably be a tiny bit faster with one, but really the whole thing works perfectly fine with no MPU. I'm just tapping into OBS because, okay. So now we can browse the internet, we can go to YouTube and see, see what I've posted recently. And we can, of course, we can go and we could see what Linus has posted. So, ah, Linus has uploaded a great video about the cutest gaming setup where he shows an awesome uh, cat ear headset that clearly we should we should be buying. Now, of course, if we go to actually order the cat ear headset, this is where things get just a tiny bit more concerning. Does my browser crash? No, it's just that. Okay. Just edge things. So we could go down and we could try to buy some of this stuff. And what we would find, of course, is that it doesn't disc uh, the recall functionality doesn't discriminate. So if you're typing in a credit card number into a form, something that isn't going to be blacked out, that's now going to be in recall. Wonderful. Let's see where the I'll demonstrate this by going to the checkout page on LTT Store since they didn't include. Give this one second, and we can type in you can go to shop pay or any of these. It doesn't actually matter. Uh, do I need an account for that? Okay, try a different one. Okay. Of course, that is not real, and even the validator uh, is able to figure out that that is not a legitimate uh, credit card. But if we give this a few seconds so that Recall captures it, uh, we've now discovered the problem with this. One of the many problems. Of course, uh, you, you don't even you don't even need uh, spyware anymore. See what the screenshot. Oh, 
Okay, it just crashed. Never did that for me on the first take, so it's pretty uncommon that it crashes, but... Oh, and here is exactly what we wanted. And uh, all of our things, including the title of what it is, is lovely. It's laid out, and it's going to be stored in a nice SQLite database if anyone wants to try and hack it. Now, the good news is that all of this is protected by impenetrable security. Nobody could ever hack this. Wait, what is this madman doing? Is this this has got to be the most insane one three three seven hacksaw move uh, anyone has ever done? Oh, what do you mean? It's just a bunch of files that are not encrypted in any way whatsoever. And in fact, uh, you can even, despite what they claimed about it being encrypted by a user account. Kevin Beaumont found that that is not true. It might be, maybe this is just in the pre-release version, but in fact, a different administrator user account is able to access it. Now, the one thing that is true is that by default, BitLocker is going to be enabled on this version of Windows. But maybe you disabled it for performance reasons. Or any malware, of course, which is copying from the same computer would not be affected. In fact, the only conceivable scenario where BitLocker would help you is if you're home drive was somehow stolen out of your computer. I, I actually cannot think of how that's going to be able to helpful. Now, the images seem to be coded, but the database is just a pretty plain uh, SQLite. Now, we can actually read. This is where all of that data, which would include everything for example, credit card numbers, it doesn't discriminate. They say that openly. Uh, the problem with that is that uh, it doesn't. Now, it's not just credit card numbers. If, let's say, you viewed an internal database on a development machine that had this feature enabled, every piece of text typed in would be exfiltrated. The only tiny bit of security this thing has, and it's not a big help, is... Let's say we go to a password form. And we can screw. We can actually try to. I think I went to the wrong. And uh, if you enter the password in the password form, uh, you, you'll be lucky enough that it will actually not show. But many websites now have this feature. Oh. And if you click that feature and recall captures it, now the password has been captured as well. It's like the keylogger you never knew you wanted. And this doesn't require it to be Edge. I've tested this on Chrome. It works just as well. Uh, if you open literally anything, open a game, anything. Now, the good news, and stay tuned because there'll be a video coming where I'll actually test this more in depth, is as far as we can tell, nothing does go back to Microsoft servers. That is about the one good idea they have had throughout this entire saga. The problem is, it's not that most people are not that worried about Microsoft having their data. People are worried about scammers having their data. If you ran a stealer, there is now exponentially more data, which has been wonderfully compressed by Microsoft... And of course, we can try this with pretty much any any software. Uh, we can open up the calculator, give it a second. We can do, and it will capture that. And it doesn't require any cooperation from the developer, although they there are APIs if they want to make it uh, more potent. Let's see if we, so far it didn't capture the calculator, but it shows us using File Explorer. Now, the one thing it doesn't seem to capture is the taskbar. And here the OCR is done. And now we could get all the names of these files. Uh, this is also wonderful if you've ever, if you're a threat actor and you've ever wanted to defeat encrypted or self destructing messaging. Well, guess what? It doesn't matter. Or any sort of deletion. Because recall will keep it and. Unlike uh, apps where you would be notified that someone had captured or tried to copy your message, there will be no notification sent. And of course, this is an equally dangerous proposition for activists. Anyone 
And I guess the final kind of noteworthy thing about Recall is that it is installed by default. Uh, in fact, uh, the OEM screen, although this may be changed, doesn't even let you opt out until you go to settings and you can turn it off. Now let's see if we've captured our secret message. Yep, there we go. And you could search for that and then you could see what the message actually was. And doesn't matter what app it's in, doesn't matter how it is. And in fact, because it's using optical character recognition, even if you had an image that contained text, uh, it can read that too. Now, some, a lot of this technology has legitimate uses and can be cool, but it needs to be secure, and I am not sold on this current implementation. I, I think this is, as uh, many have said, a massive step backwards in terms of security and privacy. So that is going to be all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments what you want to see more. If you have anything else recall-related you want to see, that's all for now. Bye.